Hello, I'm Jeff Gold, and thanks so much for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope. I have the pleasure of being joined by Dr. Louise Laframboise. And Dr. Laframboise is the Associate Professor and the Director of our College of Nursing Baccalaureate Program. Louise, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I understand uh, the College of Nursing recently got some information concerning uh, our students' performance on the National Licensure Examination, so-called NCLEX tests. Maybe you could tell me and tell our audience a little bit about what the NCLEX exam is, what its purpose is, and then we can talk about the experiences our students have had recently. Sure. The NCLEX exam is intended to um, evaluate students' readiness for practice to essentially protect public safety. So the exam is developed using um, surveys from practicing nurses and determining what is needed in terms of knowledge, skills, and attitudes in the first year of practice. So that forms the basis for the exam and if students can pass that, they are determined safe to enter practice. So is that like a prerequisite to a state licensure process of some type? It is. They have to pass the NCLEX before they can be licensed. And is it purely a written exam or are there practical and skill components to it? At this time it is written, but there are alternate format items which require that students would mark on a picture where uh, they might place a stethoscope to complete an assessment. So while there's no performance actually in a simulation type setting, there is some assessment uh, beyond knowledge. And uh, I take it most, or if not all, of our students in our baccalaureate nursing programs do at some point take the NCLEX exams? They do. And if they are slow to take the exam, because we monitor whether students have taken the exam and what their performance is, mm -hmm. then we are still in contact with them. We don't consider graduation to be a kind of that, final. So the diploma is not the final event, it's no. the NCLEX. That's right, and I think some students are surprised by that, but when they get a call from us about you haven't taken NCLEX, what can we do to help and support you? And so uh, tell us a little bit about how our students did during this academic cycle. The students who just graduated in May um, have currently a 96% pass rate for first time takers, which is the gold standard first time takers. The national pass rate is 88%, so we feel oh. pretty good about our standing. So that, that is really amazing, and uh, is, is, is that has been that high and due to changes in our curriculum? Has this been a concerted effort by our nursing faculty uh, to, if you will, teach to this test? Well, we don't teach to the test because we don't know for certain what's on the test. There's sure. a test plan that guides us. Um, but we try to give students a lot of practice with uh, test taking so that they're pre prepared for that when they get out. Um, we also have raised the standards for admission. We've raised the standards within our program because the NCLEX reevaluates every three years mm -hmm. what is happening in practice. And they not only change the test, but they change the pass score required. So typically, when they make that score change that's required, across the nation, pass rates drop a little bit. And so for us, that just prompted a, some changes, looking at what can we do to get students better ready for practice, because the practice arena becomes more complex daily. And so our program has to change to have them ready. Well, you know, we're so proud of the programs and, you know, a, a number, a 96% uh, first-time pass rate is obviously remarkable, but our fundamental job is to prepare a workforce for the delivery of health care in the future mm -hmm. and of course part of that foundation is creating a nursing workforce uh, that we're proud of and given the connection the NCLEX is not just a ticket to licensure but frankly uh, it's a recognition of the knowledge and skills uh, that you and the faculty of the College of Nursing have embedded in the baccalaureate programs. So, you know, please extend uh, at least my most sincere congratulations to all of the faculty and, of course, the hard work of the students. I'm sure these are not easy exams to pass and, uh, and, and to prepare for. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for being with us on this segment of Under the Microscope.